Yellow, what is popping, YouTube fam? This is your boy J Money here, and I'm bringing you guys an interesting combo tutorial. Now, this should have been done two weeks ago, right? But I wasn't at locals during those weeks, so I could not showcase these things. But I did go to locals yesterday, and the deck performed exactly the way I wanted it to. And even then, so prior to, back in the middle of March, I went to the Arkansas Regional with the Snake Eyes Infernoble Knight deck, and I went X3. Uh, two of my losses were due to folks who knew exactly who I was and knew my exact play style and this, then, the third. They knew which, and yeah, like, you know, it, it really does suck to lose with because people know your deck inside and out versus just a random opponent. But anyway, that's besides the point. We are featuring Voiceless Voice again, except we are doing Libromancers. Uh, we're doing a Libromancer spin to it. I choose Libromancer because Libromancer is one of those engines to where if you can play, you can win. That is kind of how I designed this deck. I designed to essentially just push and play. It's an all gas type deck. Um, decks that don't really play a lot of hand traps are actually pretty good right now. Uh, because, it, like, if you can play through three, four hand traps, your deck is probably pretty good. And I chose a Libromancer take because with Voiceless, the extra deck is probably one of the most flexible extra decks in the modern game right now. Uh, in terms of uh, a competitively viable deck that doesn't extra deck lock you. And can have all the space in the world. So there's a few things you can do here. So, but with that being said, we're gonna go straight to the laboratory. Alrighty, here we go, gents. We what are we looking at here? We're looking at two cards. Um, we don't need to open any voiceless cards at all, and we can still access voiceless. And I know what you're thinking. You see the diviner, and you think Trius is gonna get dumped, but. That couldn't be further from the truth. We're actually going to dump one of the older cards that this would send and still get to combo. We're probably going to end around like eight interruptions with this, but um, so with Libromancers, there the reason what I'm choosing to play is a Cyber's Pile extra deck since Voiceless as an archetype really has the most flexible extra deck out of all the I guess competent decks in the game right now. Um. You can essentially do whatever you want. You can play a whole bunch of toolboxes. You can do things like Apo, um, things like uh, Access Code, Underworld Goddess, Boral Swords, and stuff are going second, with some other tools going first. So, you know, like simple things like IP, again, Appalooza. Um, you could probably do synchro plays. Yeah, you could do synchro plays, uh, synchro seven plays, and things like that. There's all sorts of things you could do with this build, but I chose to go with the Cybers Pile Extra Deck because Cybers is the best extra deck toolbox in the game so and we're gonna go through like all the firewalls and all that stuff and still end on like voiceless and all this other stuff with libros all of it so um sit tight you guys so we're gonna start with an emergency teleport and that is going to go and dig for our libromancer geek boy uh geek boy will activate um, for those of you who don't know, all the Libromancer main deck monsters, they all have the same summoning uh, effect, summoning clause by revealing a um, ritual monster in your hand to summon from the hand. But they all have different effects on summon. So with this one, on special summon, you can add a Libromancer spell card. So we're going to go fetch for Libromancer Origin. And we're going to activate the Origin, which on activation lets you set a Libromancer spell or trap from your deck. So if you already have the field spell, you can uh, set one of the trap cards. So, but obviously that's not going to be the case because we're just starting with our two cards. So we're going to set a field spell, activate our field spell, and that is going to enable us to add, uh, what's it called? A Libromancer monster on resolution. So with that, we will add Libromancer fire. Next, we will normal summon our diviner. Diviner will activate, and we're going to send a Herald of the Arc Light from our deck to the graveyard. Arc Light activates. We'll uh, add a Ritual Monster. We will actually add Illusion of Chaos. This is pretty important. Next, we will activate Libromancer Fire's effect, and we're going to reveal the Illusion of Chaos and summon the Fire, and use our Fire to add a Libromancer Monster on Special Summon. 
normally I would add agent, but um, if you didn't already have access to everything else, you're probably going to want to add Doom Broker uh, fairly early. All right, now from here we will proceed to commit to the ritual summon now, and we're going to tribute our diviner and summon our Doom Broker now. Uh, we want to actually summon it uh, right here. This zone should probably be for things like Skull Guardian and whatnot, and we, all your fodder cards you want to keep over here because of your Cyber Switch plays and whatnot. Spoiler alert, we are playing Cyber Switch in this deck. So, since Diviner was a level 6 because we sent Herald, we got to uh, exactly 6 stars. You don't need exactly 6, but she alone fulfills the requirement to summon Doom Broker. So now you're going to go for Diviner, Chain Link 1, Doom Broker, Chain Link 2, so your Diviner doesn't get ashed. And we're going to set our Libro Mancer Intervention, which is a target spell. Uh, it's just a targeting Omni Negate, like a Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. So we're going to set the Intervention, and then we're going to resolve the Diviner, summoning our uh, Novox, or Low Prayer of the Voiceless Voice. And from here, we're going to activate our Low, which will allow us to place Barrier of the Voiceless Voice. All right, Barrier will activate now, and we'll add our Saphira, and then we'll send our Saphira as well as our Prayer to add a Skull Guardian to our hand from the deck. All right, now we will proceed to link off the Libra Mancer Fire into a Link Disciple. Activating our Illusion of Chaos, we will add our Magician's Souls and put the Illusion to the bottom of the deck. All right. Uh, next, we will proceed to Ritual Summon using our Saphira. And we will tribute our Low, and we will Special Summon our Skull Guardian. Skull Guardian will be Chain Link 1, Low will be Chain Link 2, summoning herself right back out. Now, uh, Skull Guardian will proceed to search. I will likely not end up searching the old man. I will likely just search Saphir for more follow-up because you want to get access to the old man later. All right, now, from here we're gonna turn the low into a Link Karibo. And now we will take our two Cybers monsters and make a Cyber Switch. Now we will activate our Magician's Souls. We will summon them out, sure. but cyber, that will trigger Cyber Switch's effect, which will enable us to banish a spell card from our graveyard, being the Emergency Teleport point earlier, and add a Side Net Ritual and a Cyber Ritual monster from our deck to our hand, like so, Cyber Sage. Now, since we use the effect to add two cards, we can reborn a level four or lower uh, Cyberus monster. This is very important. We're gonna make our summon back our Lebo Mancer Fire. Then we're gonna go into another Cyberus Link monster. We will make a Link Decoder. All right. Now, from here, we will proceed to take our Geek Boy and our Cyber Switch and we will make a Protect Code Talker. Right? Now, we're going to proceed to activating, um, we can actually use our Magician's Souls now, and I would actually send the Field Spell, as well as origin story. I don't think you need either of these. I mean, but you can shuffle one of these back if you wanted to grab the old man uh, to your hand. Fat, yeah. So we'll send these and we'll draw two cards. Uh, look at that. None of these we're really going to do anything with. We use them both anyway. Um, well, all the ritual monsters that you kind of want. So, now from here we're going to tribute our Magician's Souls for Link Karibo to come back. 
Right. Now, we will proceed to take five materials, link them all off into a Firewall Dragon Tempest Terahertz. This requires three Cyberses, three plus Cyberses, and it's a Link 5. That's kind of why we had to make do the uh, Link Rebo shenanigans. Now we're going to activate Link Decoder. If it's sent to Grave as Link material for a Cyberse Link with 2300 or more, we can summon this out, but it's banished when it leaves the field. So we will actually summon the Decoder here. Alright, next, we can actually activate our Protect Code Talker as well. And we can summon him out by banishing Link Monsters from the Grave whose Link rating equal 3. So we'll banish Link Karibo and our Cyber Switch. So those will fulfill those requirements. Right, now, from here, we will climb. We will take both of these, they're banished when they leave the field, into a Firewall Dragon. And from here, we will proceed to activate the Silent Ritual, attributing our Sephira and summoning our Cyber Sage. Cyber Sage's effect allows us to fusion summon a Cyber Ritual from our, our Cyber Fusion from our extra deck by banishing materials from field or graveyard. So we'll banish a Libra Mancer Fire and a Link Disciple to summon our Cybers to save worm. Um, let's see, I did make, there is some sort of misplay I made. It probably was not making Firewall, it definitely had to have been IP, I had to IP masquerade it somewhere. Um, but I think this is still fine. So what we're going to do is we are going to climb into a, we're going to take all of these. We're going to take these here, we're going to take four, five, and six, and we're going to make a Firewall Dragon Singularity. Right now, we will take the Cyber Sage and the Skull Guardian and link into a Dynamondo. Now, Firewall Singularity has quite a few effects, right? Um, the quick effect is almost like the original Firewall Dragon's bounce effect. You can target um, cards your opponent controls up or in the graveyard up to the number of different uh, card types. Ritual, Fusion, Synchro, Xyz you control or in your graveyard and bounce them. So oftentimes you will have three. So you got a Fusion here and you got a Ritual here. So oftentimes you have two, right? But you also have a Synchro, so you got three. So you have three bounces, right? Um, and he permanently gains 500 for each one that gets bounced. So if you bounce three, he's at 5k and that's permanent. And he has a third effect. If anything he's pointing to is either destroyed by battle or sent to grave, uh, you can target a cyber monster in your graveyard and summon it. So we're going to do just that. We're going to use our firewall singularity effect since cyber sage got sent to grave. And we can target our... Firewall Tempest Terahertz, and we can summon it. So now that that is summoned, uh, before we pass turn, we are going to use our Tempest Terahertz' other effect. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it negates all any monster effects activated by your opponent during the battle phase as a, you know, just period. So it's, it's a blanket card, right? Um, and as a quick event, you can send a Cybers from hand, uh, from your deck or extra deck to the grave, and then this gains the extra attribute of the monster sent and it gains 2500 which is also permanent and this card can attack monsters a number of times each battle phase up to the different attributes it has so we're going to use our tempest hurts and we're going to send another libromancer fire to our graveyard so now he has two attributes he's a fire monster and we will pass here so, what are we looking at? We're actually looking at about seven interruptions, I think. So, we're gonna walk the. I'm gonna walk you guys through this slowly. So, what we got here is we 
have draw phase, we can Dynamundo, right? So we can tribute. Um, actually, hmm. Yeah, we're gonna tribute and we're gonna target Skull Guardian and summon our Skull Guardian, which will trigger um, the low in the grave as Chain Link 1 and will trigger Singularity as Chain Link 2, targeting the original Firewall Dragon and summoning him out. And so that will summon the low out and low will activate to place a trap up. Right? Cool. Now, we are looking at what, right? So, we have an interruption here, right? So, we do have our Heart Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss interruption, right? We can target the um, Doom Broker, bounce it, and any targeted card on the field to negate, right? So, that's already one, right? And with this intervention, we can also summon out a Lee Romancer from Hand or Grave. So, this is why we set the Lee Romancer fire earlier, because we banished one and we want another one, because on Special Summon, he adds a Lee Romancer, right? And we want to add Geek Boy to our hand. And the reason why we want to add Geek Boy, for example, is because if we use the Radiance, for example, and we choose, or Barrier, and we choose to grab Old Man, we could shuffle back our first appearance in a ritual, and then Geek Boy for the first appearance, and get m even more follow-up uh, to push through our opponent's uh, stuff. So, that's one interruption there. Next, we have a Tempest Terahertz Send as a quick effect, right? Uh, send, and um, when this is sent to Grave, you can target a face-up uh, card on the field and the gate its effects until the end of the turn. So this is a, it's it's a, like a pseudo imperm, but it's not that quick. It's on Send. So there's all sorts, you know, just anything that doesn't really start a chain on normal summon is preferable to kind of hit. Uh, barrier, for example, you could send that. If you're playing against a mirror match, you can stop Barrier. So that's uh, interruption number two. Interruption number three, you have the Cybers to Save Worm. Remember, if you have a Link 4 or higher Cybers, and this is in your grave, it's a spell and trap negate by banishing. So you have three interrupts there. You have four interrupts in the form of Firewall. You have a double calling, so you can bounce two from your opponent. And you have five interrupts because with Singularity, um, you can bounce three. We did send an XE, but we did banish a fusion. So if you wanted to wait, you could just keep all four and bounce four. So uh, Skull Guardian Negate is six interrupts, and then you have the Radiance, right? You could Radiance pop, which is nice. Um, if you made IP Masquerina instead of Firewall, you could um, link off link off these two to make SP instead and banish a card right and you could also have another banish and then you could use this to summon the old man and summon the ritual Cerevis so that is even more interruptions and this assumes that no other cards in our hand were extenders in the first place so yeah guys um, and, and on your follow up turn these two can deal with towers monsters because they're already extremely huge. Again, this will be a 5,000 minimum. This is already at 70, 25, 25, that's 5,000. This is at 8,000 on two cents. On two cents, it's already at 8K. This is at 4,100, 4, right? Like all of this stuff is huge. Uh, again, this is just a pure gas. This is kind of what this Libra Master deck does and it pushes through a lot, right? To where even if like all of this cyber stuff doesn't go through you're probably still ending on IPs and uh, like SPs uh, type stuff with uh, or Dynamundos with um, with voiceless stuff still active even though you just kind of ate through your opponent's hand traps like butter so yeah um, this was just a nice little tutorial as to how Libromancers actually works with this deck because I did have a few questions on it so um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this guide. Alright guys, did you like it? You hate it? You enjoyed it? Bored? Let me know. Comments below. Again, there's oodles and oodles of different options you can take when it comes to a Libromancer build. You don't have to play Cybers, uh, 
pile extra deck. I just chose to do it because I love Cybers and Cybers pile extra deck is the best extra deck in the game. So with that being said, that is it for me. Hope you enjoyed the combo. Maybe you will take something like this. Maybe you've got an extra deck um, toolbox of your own that you're thinking of and maybe you would take some of the ideas that I had and apply it to said strategy yourself. So with that being said guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Jay Money and I am signing out.